We just watched the Missouri versus Iowa State duel. And overall, I thought the duel was very entertaining. We had a couple of pins. We had an overtime match. There were some quality wrestling exchanges. And the arena looked to be packed and loud. And it looked like a great environment to wrestle in. But I want to talk about the big one. I want to talk about 165 pounds. David Carr beats Keegan O'Toole. And I would say overall this match lived up to the hype. This match was never going to be 12 to 9, 10 to 7 type match. Both guys are just too good to give up that many points. So I was really happy with both guys got takedowns and we got three or four really, really good wrestling exchanges. So David Carr wins 7 to 2. And the question everyone is going to be asking is, are you going to hit the subscribe button? I'm kidding. But you should. If you love wrestling, hit the subscribe button. The question, the real question everyone's going to be asking is, can Keegan O'Toole flip this result at Big 12s and at the national championships? And I think the answer to that question is, yes. I, I, yeah, I think I think he can. Five points is a lot of ground to make up. But if you break down the match, it it really came down to one exchange. So this exchange we're going to watch, it's at the end of the second period. The score is 4-2. to two. David Carr is winning. And I think this is the key exchange of the match. So let's just watch it through here. So Keegan O'Toole, he takes a shot here. He gets in decently deep, and it looks like he might finish in the same way he got his first takedown, but David Carr keeps wrestling. He keeps scrambling, and he gets on Keegan O'Toole's leg, and the really interesting part to me about this exchange is right here. You can see Keegan O'Toole, he's going for his leg pass. He's funky. He likes to scramble, and David Carr defended this leg pass really really well i want to know how many times in the iowa state room they made him go through leg pass defense um, he defended this leg pass really well so keegan o'toole couldn't get the leg pass and ultimately david carr turns keegan's shot into his own points and gets two points right at the end of the second period to go up six to two and the reason why I think this exchange, this was the one exchange that determined a match, it's four to two. If Keegan O'Toole gets the takedown here, it's four to four. He gets the takedown right at the end of the second period. It's four to four going into the third period, and O'Toole has choice. Probably the most shocking thing to me from this match was David Carr rode Keegan O'Toole for the entire third period. Now, I question if that is something that David Carr can repeat consistently. I wouldn't count on it. That's why I think this comes down to one exchange. I do think Keegan O'Toole can reflip this result, but going into the Big 12s and the National Championship, it's clear David Carr is the favorite. That's what I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video.